Right everyone, the track back to the trig point is over a bit and still go, it carries on. I'm starting to flatten out now so I've come back on. I have got a bit of a wheeze, um, but that's all the pollen and stuff like that in the air. So if, I'm, if you hear me wheezing, it's just okay, it's okay. But I've flattened out now. In theory, it should all be downhill from now on, back to Alberta. In theory, it should be. <coughs> so it's the first time I've been on this particular track, which of course leads us back there to that plane and where you can park and come through West Quantock Head to find that little parking space if you want to explore all over there. I have walked around the edge, by the way, before, to Bic from Bicknoller. I have done it. I have walked. I've been over there somewhere and walked down to Bicknoller Village, which is... I think the College Way comes around that, that way as well, and um, possibly the Macmillan Way. <sighs> which goes all through Somerset, Macmillan Way does, all over Exmoor. Coleridge walk. Oh God, it weaves it all in and out, all up there to Porlock. It sort of weaves in and out. Um, Coleridge just walked us. Oh, this is lovely though, isn't it? There's a little bench there, look. People know that once you've come up that hill, you might want to sit down and have a little break. Well, I, I tend to go me, keep moving because it's still in the sun. I wouldn't want to sit in the sun. Somebody's left their towel behind. Hello, bench. <laughs> so there we go. There's, watch it down there, which would be my, one of my next moves to walk the coastal path to Minehead or do it the other way around and catch and get the steam train as well. Dunkery Beacon right, right over there, which I will be mastering soon. That's on the summer list. And of course I've done a lot of this. This is the edge of the Quantox now, around here. I've just been down to the edge of the Quantox down there. Okay. And it stretches right out over to Nether Stowey. Over to West Bagborough. over Stowey, you know. Holford. It truly is beautiful, but I have seen two people in the distance. I've met nobody en route at all. There's nobody out. Nobody out. It's summer holidays. People are taking notice of the warnings, I think. Not to venture out in this heat. There's a walk right the way down into that valley there you can do. If you felt like it. <sighs> I've often seen this track and think, oh, I'm going to go along that one day. I'm doing it in reverse, of course. And up there will be the trick point. <laughs> I've had a lovely day. I was very ambitious when I had the map in front of me at home, thinking I could walk right round there and yeah, and all that, and go to Woodland Hill, and then you know, no, it's, it's I've done enough because I mean, <sighs> I've been walking in the midday sun. It's only half past four now. And I got a nice leisurely walk back. I've got, got my headscarf on. I can feel the wind blowing on my neck. I've loved the Quantox since I first seen them as a small girl with my dad and my sisters. I fell in love with them. At a very young age, got pictures.
pictures of me up here when I was five or six years old. And down at Holford. <laughs> I expect the, the school might possibly, server might possibly have some school images. Somebody must have taken pictures of us at Holford. But it's not like now, you see when the kids have all got cameras and all that. There was none of that in those days. There wasn't even Instamatics. You know, it was brownie. It was a brownie camera. And that was my sister Margaret's. I mean, I got hold of it eventually. But not until later. You know, I used to collect the sheep's bones. I think I've mentioned it on other videos in the past. Take them home, put them in a bucket of bleach. And then take them in for my science teacher. I always had a thing about bones when I was a kid. Well, we've got to head sort of over there towards those trees. Um, Big not a post. It's a junction point. Then you can either carry on over Croke and West Bagborough, all over there, which I have done, of course. Some of it I've done this year. I've done other big walks. And, uh... I'm enjoying this, you know. I know it's hot. I know I'm very hot. But if I was to go... I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me <laughs> if I dropped dead when I was out here. I'm not rush, wishing it on myself, but this would be the sort of place where what I love. <laughs> my beautiful Quantox. <laughs> my beautiful Somerset. <sighs> Look at it. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Over and out, everyone.